So welcome back to the Forensics Detailing Channel. In this video, Martin, the owner of this car, thinks this is the greatest golf ever made. I'm not so sure. <laughs> well, tell I me do. how much this car's worth, Martin. Um, well, it's not for sale. No. <laughs> how much is it um, worth if it was? I, I don't know. Probably forty thousand, maybe a little bit less. I don't forty know. grand for a golf. Mm -hmm. Was this guy like got sort of like gold plated engine or something? No. 40 grand. Okay, I want to see what this is. Right, let's see if this car cover reveal system works. The battery's a little bit low. 40 grand for a golf. For a red golf. For a golf GTI. That looks like to me a pre-facelift golf GTI Mark 7. How can this be worth 40 grand? Because it's a limited edition Club Sport S. Ah. So this isn't a normal Golf? No. Now, tell me what makes this special. Um, well, it was made as a limited edition. Um, they only made 400 worldwide, 150 right-hand drive, and they didn't make many red. Um, a lot of these, when they were sold from new, went straight over to Japan. Um, yeah, so, you know, they were one of those cars that was sold at a reasonable price from the dealer but then turned hands very quickly um, for a lot more money, sort of anywhere between 45 and I think even fi up to 55 grand um, people were paying. Around about 50 grand, 55 grand was the most I think anyone paid for one of these. So there could be a, as little as 75 of them in the UK, roughly, I guess. I would say less. Yeah. Well, let's walk us around the car. Let's, let's pop the hood. Pop and, the hood. Uh, <laughs> talk about the engine, first of all. So, what's this engine? Looks like a triple A, E AAA L to me. <laughs> well, it is an E AAA, yep. It's basically a Golf R engine. Yeah. Um, so, the normal GTI doesn't have the same engine, different turbo. This has obviously got the Golf R engine in it, so it's got all the Golf R components, but it's not a four wheel drive like the Golf R. Brake horsepower? Um, they say 306 brake horsepower, but Generally, when these are rolling loaded, they're coming out quite a bit more. Um, well, they were. Um, 0 to 60? 5.8, so not, not rapid. Maximum speed? Uh, 165. Not bad. His knowledge is good. He's been top Trump in the car. Look. Well, <laughs> I, I wouldn't have bought it if I didn't know a little bit about it. True. This is my second one. True. So, there's nothing, it's fair to say, there's nothing too special about the engine, is there? This, no, that's not it, what this that's car's not about. Where, that's not where they made the car special. They, they made the car special with the, the, so it's got aluminium front cross members. Um, it's, aluminium subframes. Yeah, so aluminium it, subframes and cross members. Pretoria alloys. It's got Pretoria alloys. The, it's got um, uprated brakes that are only on this car. Yeah. Um, so they've got yeah, they um, a higher heat resistant pad in them. The front bumper has been designed with the air intake, the, duct, um, the ducts to cool the brakes down. So you've actually got proper yeah, they're not fake. to have these on there. Yeah, they're not fake. Um, the whole of the car has had all the sound deadening stripped out of it from factory. It's running Cup 2s yeah. as standard. From they factory. come on Cup 2s, which is very unusual. No sunroofs on these cars. Everything's weight reduced, isn't it? Yeah. So let's go, let's and, just... And the best thing, they didn't make it in a DSG, just manual. So that, is that for weight saving, is it? It's for more engagement, yeah. driving engagement, yeah. I think, than anything. They could have probably made the car quicker with a DSG. And the great thing the about this car, guys, it costs all of that money. You get really nice rear seats in there. No, you don't. Hold on a second. <laughs> Someone's nicked the rear seats. No rear seats. So that's done for weight saving. So don't buy this car if you want a practical family hot hatch. No, no, no. it's not for that. This Buy is an extreme R. performance hot hatch. Yeah. Um, what else is going on in the interior? These seats aren't so, normal Club Sport seats, no, are they? No, so these, are, these, these only come in the Club Sport S and the Club Sport. Um, they're an optional extra in the Club Sport, but on all the Club Sport S's, these seats came with the car, right. which are absolutely gorgeous. The only other option you got with this car from factory was either an aircon delete or not. This car luckily has aircon. Which you want. Um, some people just wanted to save that tiny little extra bit of weight when ordering, but it's not not for me. Okay. Um, manual box. What's Beautiful that? Beautiful manual speed? gearbox. Yeah, really, really lovely gearbox. Alcantara steering yeah, wheel. absolutely amazing. The, the steering on this car is just, oh, I love it. Okay, let's keep walking around the car. So it only comes in the um, 
coupe, you know, fr whatever. It's only a three door, yeah. only a manual, and they only did it in three colours. Is this their own? Do we, is their own? So this stuff again, as well, this spoilers yeah, yeah, yeah. for the Club Sport S. That's actual active spoiler. So that's actually producing that produce downforce, does it, or is it to stabilise it? That's cool. Uh, oh, you have got the old army nets in the back. <laughs> yeah, the bars there, obviously for rigidity, um, for you know helping it handle. Obviously, it's very light on the rear end. The car's got, as I say, I think I said already, this car's been stripped of all its sound deadening from factory. Yeah. Um, again, What's the weight of this? You told me, didn't you? 1,285. That's incredible, that is. That it, is, is for incredible. A, it is for a new car. Um, also, the exhaust system on this car was only produced for this car, um, which, if you drive it, or well, when you will drive it, you'll get to hear it, because it sounds ace. Um, like I say, these have been out a long time now, but... I've, I've been quite lucky to have loads of cars, but this is by far the best car I've ever, ever driven and ever had. This is the second one of these, and I'll never sell this car. That's a really good way to end this segment. The key things to take away from this segment, <laughs> this car has not been tuned to like be fast. So that engine Fun. producing 300 and whatever brake horsepower. 310, power, just under. 0 to 65.8, that's not quick by modern standards. So why is this car so special? We still need to answer that. And we've covered some little areas where we might get a clue so let's go on and actually drive this thing <laughs> oh you probably have to put that seat back a bit you're a bit bigger than me remember here you go <laughs> they're quite comfy these seats um so <coughs> well obviously you can't see this on film but we'll show you that this has got different meters so it's obviously got oil temperature water temperature you've got a g meter here you've also got a, a, a power output so it's pretty cool. It's got your bar boost, so it yeah. shows how much boost it's got. But I like to have um, I like to have the G meter and I like to have the oil and coolant temperature. So the oil's not up to think of yet, so we'll take a slow drive up there. Ooh. That wing mirror is not standard, is it? No. It's got no I don't believe it is. You That's kinda quite the, cool. Save the little bit of weight. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like the glass, isn't it? Right. Okay, so at the moment I've got the car in normal mode. Normal mode. So you've got you've got different modes. You've got comfort, normal, race, and individual. Now individuals, the 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 mode they set the Nurburgring le record in. Yeah. And this is basically race uh, performance, but with comfort suspension. Let's go. Which with I've that. set this up to. Well, we'll we'll start with normal, so you can just get used to it. This is my baby. Remember. I don't drive them hard. You know that. Oh, there's a there's a uh, a big lorry coming, John. So I'll just give you my thoughts steering wheel is nice it's not a beefy steering wheel clutch is light it's really light um brake feels quite heavy but perfect nice throttle's quite light feels golfy <laughs> golfy <laughs> seating position is good really? legs are not twisted quite a lot of uh, lumbar support which is nice yeah steer you'll notice that the steering the way the steering feels on this car is yeah. It's awesome, and obviously it's got a lot of power going through the Plenty front wheels. Plenty of headroom as well, so you can get a crash helmet on. And cup holders. Yeah, you'll also know that these tyres take a little while to uh, yeah, yeah. warm up. They're not, you know, they'll, you know, it's a lot of power going through the front wheel drive. And this has got a diff, hasn't it? It's got a special, yeah, diff, again, created, designed for this car. I'm not in park or anything. No, yet. no park, no. Signals, indicators. Yeah, the usual stuff, John. You'll notice it's pretty noisy in the back because it's got no sound deadening. You'll hear all the sorts of... Yeah, a little bit, yeah, not too bad though. Oh no, you'll hear it on the The biting road. point on the road. clutch is really low and it bites very rapidly. So just a little bit of lift and you feel the clutch engage, which is nice. Yeah, it does flick up a few So we'll go right, yeah. The so brakes, yeah, they're there. <laughs> You've got to just get used to those initial driving things, right. Yeah. So we won't floor it. No, we're not... we don't need to go fast because the oil's not a temperature yet. We're only at 54. Water's up there. So straight away, can we turn the aircon off? It's not on. But I can oh, turn. It? oh, it's road noise. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So that's what I was trying to say. Yeah, yeah. It's got nothing underneath. You can hear a lot of road yeah, noise. Yeah, you can, can't you? Yeah. It's like being in a convertible. <laughs> or an older car. But when you've, when you've obviously changed the modes and we've got the... the the, the louder exhaust, you kind of, I mean, I love that noise yeah, here yeah. in the road, and I love hearing the stones flick up. Yeah. Everything. It sort of makes it feel more racy, which yeah, obviously, that's yeah, yeah. because the car's designed to be. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you, I mean, all this, yeah, you could really hear the, the road and the wind going under the car. 
um, the first thing I notice is the dampening on the car. It, you really feel the road. It's, it's just, we're in the comfort mode, are we? Yeah, well, we're, we're in normal at the moment. So, it's, so it's, I'm going to soften it down a little bit. If you want me to soften it, what I'll do is I'll do that now for you. So that's going into comfort mode. Steering so is soft. very, very good. Very good. Steering feels really precise. Yeah. Obviously. You can feel like the way the road changes in your bum. <laughs> so normally in the car, all of that dampening is hiding what's going on in the road. You're kind of floating over the road surface where you feel your ass moving around. Because, I mean, that's what it's all about, isn't it? Feeling the surface. Yeah, I mean, the suspension's softer now, isn't it? You can feel it. Yeah, a little bit. already softened up a little bit. Obviously, it's never going to be like a boat because it's a GTI. It's not been designed yeah. to, to be... It's got know, a, a similar cruiser. level of dampening to my M4 CS. Similar level. Which I, I mean, like. You want to go down that way? Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, you've got to compare. I mean, it's a difficult car to compare it to because obviously your CS is much more powerful, much bigger car, not, rear wheel not drive. Not that much quicker, ironically, though. Well, not <laughs> to 6 CS, but Maybe. not round a circuit, not a massive amount, but yours is a special car, isn't it? But this yeah. is just. I'm a Volkswagen man and you're a. BMW man, yeah. yeah One never. day I'll convert you, Martin, don't worry. No, you won't. <laughs> I'm a BMW guy, but I've always loved golfs. And I, part of a sign is if you love a golf, is you go looking at an auto trader or you start learning about cars. And I, I do love golfs. Um, there's a difference. There's something quite cool that Volkswagen have done with this car, and they haven't just tried to make the fastest 0 to 60 car on the market. Because if you do this that, this car's not about that. No, the golf cars quicker on 0 to 60. But... Yeah, the next one that comes out will will go quicker than you, and it's of just. And it's pointless. What they've tried to do is make a chassis that can maintain its speed through the corners. Mm -hmm. And that is the difficult thing to do. They've achieved that with this car. Yeah, I mean, to get around the Nürburgring in 7 minutes 40 or whatever it does. 7.49 it was, yeah. With a 0 to 60 time of 5.8 and a brake horse power of around 300, it's absolutely ridiculous. Right, we'll go right here, yeah? Yeah, but the thing with this car is it's not the 0 Actually, no, we'll go straight through, shall we? Uh, no, go right. up there and then through over. Okay. So we're in comfort at the moment. We're not in. We're not in a fast. It's, it's, when we get, well, we're, we're pretty much nearly there, warmed up. So when we get down to the little country road, we'll put it into race. I'm going to turn this aircon off because of the audio. Okay. Right. It's the power's sporty. in this gear. But third and fourth, to me, is where the power really comes in on this car, and obviously it can get traction. Yeah. So the power's not in the 0 to 60. The power's the mid range. Know, it's it's got a fantastic amount of torque, I think, for, for well, it feels well, like I haven't it has. throttled on more than like twenty percent so far. Where's the temperature? Oh it's down oh, there. We're up at to ninety now, aren't we? Yeah, so we're really ready to rock and roll, so we'll go down there and then I'm gonna change the mode. So what we're gonna do is we'll put it into race. So you'll get a few the, the exhaust note's gonna change now. I'm sure it's not reverse. Get, no, you'll get a better throttle response and a bit more. Obviously, the power will be on there. I now. want to really rag it. <laughs> Thanks. Bit of orange peel on that car. A bit of lacquer peel. Just a bit. So, so far, it's just been, it, you know, we haven't tested the car. It's just been like a stiff ride. Feels nice and luxurious. Quite a lot of road noise. Oh! Oh! <laughs> it's naughty. So you see third gear now. Did you feel it? Yeah, I still wasn't flat to the floor there. The power third gear. Yeah. 100% in this car. I mean, we drove in a Focus RS not so long ago, and it was good. And it was down these roads. And it's bouncing all over the place. Not the same as the this. The dampening on this car is on a different level. Oh, that's nice. That isn't it. Yeah. It's addictive. <laughs> Let's let, put a bit of distance between this car. It's got quite a nice, obviously at the moment you can't really hear it, but it's, it's so got quite a nice bit of induction noise. Only a small amount, but it does sound nice. It's flat to the road. Right, has he gone? Yeah, we want to go down that road down there in a second, don't we? Oh, it's lovely in second. The third's the best gear, so we go down there. Oh, sugar lumps. It's all right. Turning is so good. Man, I'd love to put this around a track and just like 
it's what really it's designed for, isn't it? Getting to a corner with it. I mean, I haven't tracked it because it's to me, it's just a bit too much money. We, we were talking and about I, this, weren't yeah, we? Yeah, I, I, it's, it's too much, my baby. Um, you got three owners. You got the ones that buy them, track the hell out of them. You got yeah. the ones that buy them and wrap them in plastic and then sell them in five years' time for a lot of money. And then you got the ones that kind of cherish them and drive them on the roads, maybe take them to car shows, drive across Europe and look after them. So really, you want if you're buying. Well, buy whatever. <laughs> but. Slow down a little bit and let him get a little bit away and then you yeah. can get to feel how good it is. So, yeah, I mean, with me, this is a car that I use for the odd weekend. I do the odd, you know, like, again, next weekend, we're down in Wales. Um, yeah. So I'll use it, I'll probably do a thousand miles in one weekend in it, and then I'll probably only do a couple hundred miles that year. So it doesn't get used a lot, but I do like to drive it. You know, When I drive it, I like to drive it. Let's give it a pull. Virtually going to first here, right yeah, the way down to nothing. Quickly. Oh, yeah, you're going to get that with these tyres. Oh my god. Oh, that's lovely. So it hits the limiter quite quickly. You've got to be careful yeah, it's of that. Fast revving. Go on, push it. Well, I've got to. I've got to be careful, haven't I? Oh yeah, it's not no. the speed, but just it's just the handling. I so mean, it wants... like I said to you. It, it, it will just go around these bends. It wants to go, it just wants to go faster and faster. And even at this high speed, you just turn the wheel and there's no body roll. It's really flat for a, especially for a hot hatch. Really flat, so just have a look at the brakes. Brakes are just completely balanced. God, yeah. There's no veering at all, is there? Oh, I mean, you could just rag the bollocks out of this all day long. <laughs> gear, the, gears, the gear change is really nice. It's not notchy. It's a good distance. Gear you wouldn't change so. anything on that, would you? It's the third gear pull. It's just phenomenal. Oh yeah. You know what I like about it though? Is it puts the power down well. It feels light, doesn't it? It's not booting you like a lot of cars where they, they boot you and they've got so much power you feel you're fighting against the chassis. You get that in the M140s. It's sort of overpowered for the quality of the chassis and the rest of the drive chain. This is just in harmony with the um, the amount of power that it's got. They've really worked on the right things. This car puts a lot of other hot hatches. Not to shame, because that's the No, wrong no, word, definitely but not. I mean I just haven't seen that quality in the dampening and the setup. The Geo as well, phenomenal. Yeah, I mean I've had a lot of Golf R's and I've had a really powerful Golf R, you know, nearly 500 horsepower, and I ended up selling that to buy this because I owned one of these from pretty much brand new, a white one, but my OCD went mad and I really wanted a red one and at the time I couldn't get one. So you had a white one, did you? Yeah, but I wanted a red one. I think they look best in red. They really look stand out. But then the good thing about this car more than anything is unless you know what this car is, you don't know what this car is. It's just a Golf GTI to anyone else. Yeah. And most people don't even know that they haven't got back seats. You know, I was talking to Reg the other day, your friend. Oh yeah, Reg. And, uh, he, he, we were talking about Road these, Reg on YouTube. Road Reg, yeah. And we were talking about these cars, and I, I think he was getting this confused with a club sport because when I said to him, "Oh, this car doesn't have back seats," he was like, "Really?" So I showed him. He was like, "Oh, blind me! I didn't know that kind of thing." So um, yeah, I think a lot of people don't, unless you know, you don't know. And yeah. that's what's so nice about this car. It's just a sleeper, really. Yeah. Not the there's fastest no, there's car. There's no club sport S badge on it, is there? On the sides. Oh, it's on the Lower sides. Decal. Yeah. Okay. I believe the guy that set up the chassis on this was something to do with the um, the handling and chassis um, for Porsche. Um, so obviously that's why this car's been set up so well and they got the braking right as well. Um, it just they, wants to be driven hard. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It's Such a good car. Like I say, probably the best chassis you'll ever find in any hot hatch. The dampening and setup on my M4CS, I don't shout about it and rave about it, but I love it. And I haven't driven many cars that are, that are as good as it. This is better than it, a lot better, because it can, as well as that, that setup, you know, the, the chassis, the dampening, the steering, the actual power doesn't sort of throw the car off too much. It's just right for the car. Whereas my M4, if you try and boot it and drive it like a hooligan, will be doing all sorts of weird stuff at the back end. It will be kangarooing. Um, you can lose the back, it, you know, it's just got too much power. It's okay on the track, but on the road it's, it's useless. Um, whereas this, you could put this around a circuit and 
you can absolutely wring it out on the road. So, yeah, I mean, I've just put this in individual mode now. So we've got softer dampening, but the same power. That's from, not even foot to the floor. From the same power now. From the really feel the front of the car. Really feel it. Steering is really responsive. Amazing, isn't it? I yeah. love the steering. It feels really light. light. Yeah. The car feels so light, doesn't it? Well, it is. Yeah, I mean, it's a... Well, 1,285 kilos. For a, for a fairly new car, that's pretty light, really. I'm going to make a bold statement. This is probably not just the best Golf. This is probably the best hot hatch You've I've driven? ever driven. And I've driven a fair few. Um, nothing like this. This feels, if you close your eyes, and you could ride in it down the road, not hold anything, not drive it, but just ride. You think you could be in a, you know, a Porsche or a very expensive car with a sports or almost like a race setup, but it's not quite that brutal for a full race setup. But no. Just brilliant, Martin. So, yes, this Golf may not have any back seats. <laughs> yes, it may not be a lot of money, but it's converted me. I get it. I want one. Will I ever get one? No, because I can't afford it. Yes, you can. Well, I'd have to get rid of my Beamer, yeah. but it is, it's, it's absolutely spectacular. It's been a pleasure to drive it. Boom. No problem, mate. Drop mic. Bosh. <laughs> so, Martin, if this isn't the best Golf of all time, what is? What are the contenders? Well, the most iconic is obviously the Mark 1 GTI. Um, in my opinion, the second best Golf ever made is the Mark 2 16 valve. I'm lucky enough to have one of those. Um, GTI probably, again, yeah. Yeah. Um, another special Golf is a Golf Rally. Um, yeah. The Golf R is an amazing car, but this is just, to me, special. Um, obviously, being a limited number car, just so much fun to drive. This is, to me, as close as you're going to get to a road eagle go car. What about G60s? G60 is phenomenal. I've got one of them. Yeah. Absolutely love a G60. But again, it's it's a different thing altogether. I mean, they're they're beautiful classics. Mark four R thirty twos. Mark five R thirty twos. Yeah, a, a gorgeous car again. Really amazing. Might be in the sound. conversation. Mark six Golf R's. They're quite. Yeah, rare. they're a really cool car. Um, I that's one of the only ones I've never owned. Um, driven one, brilliant. Um, but I still stand by it. That in my opinion after you know i'm a volkswagen through and through enthusiast and i've had i couldn't even tell you how many volkswagen golfs this is it's still the, to your, me that's your pick it's the pinnacle of all the volkswagen golfs i've ever owned so what we want to do golf fanatics put in the comments what you think is the best golf of all time but also if you don't think that the best hot hatch of all time is a golf what would you have as the number one hot hatch of all time? Because this would be up there. Not the fastest straight line, as we talked about, but probably the best overall package hot hatch. Because once you start getting too quick, it gets ridiculous. Civic Type R's get, have got to be up there as, as you know, probably, I would say my... Uh, yeah, the EP, so many good I ones, know, right? an EP3 uh, Civic Type R's got to be up at the top of the chain. Clio V6s. Um, I, well, Crazy cars. Know. Yeah, th th there's so many, isn't there? There is. There really, really is. I mean, th really, the Mark One Golf GTI is that started the hot hatch craze. Yeah. But there's loads of other cars, isn't there? You think about it. The Ford people are going to go, oh no, an RS Turbo. There's just so many to choose from. But yeah. my opinion, that they won't have the poise of this. That's for sure. Because the suspension setup on this is iconic. Nothing. I've driven is like it for the sort of same price. Amazing, guys. Put what your opinion is. Thank you, Martin, for showing us the car. Interested to know. <laughs> uh, we're going to be ragging this car around Wales soon and uh, Nick, having some yeah, fun. Come yeah, coming weekend, it's going to do a thousand miles around Wales and uh, going to have bundles of fun. Woohoo! So that'd be, if you see it wrapped around a tree, it, Shh, it was him. <laughs> don't say that. <laughs> Adios, guys. Thanks, Martin. Bye now. What's up?